An explosive new book by Watergate reporter Bob Woodward comes out on Tuesday. Current and former White House aides refer to President Trump as an idiot and a liar. David Martin spoke with Woodward for CBS Sunday Morning. How many people did you interview? Oh, over a hundred. I, you know, I would say that maybe half of those are key people. The book will be released on the heels of a scathing op-ed in the New York Times by an anonymous Trump administration official. Vice President Mike Pence addressed the op-ed and the book in an interview for Face the Nation. Here's Ed O'Keefe. The only thing that's wrong about that narrative is everything. Vice President Pence on Sunday disputed reports in a new book detailing chaos in the White House. I've seen this president in action. Is he demanding? Yes. Is he a strong leader who expects things done yesterday? Yes. This just reflects an ignorance uh, about, about President Trump. And about Pence was responding to journalist Bob Woodward and his new book, Fear, Trump in the White House. It's being published this week by Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. This one was in the belly of the beast. And what did you conclude about the beast? That people better wake up to what's going on. Pence and other administration officials also dismissed an anonymously written New York Times op-ed that said cabinet secretaries once considered using the 25th Amendment to remove Mr. Trump. Have you ever been part of a conversation about that? No, never. And why, why would we be, Margaret? I'll tell you what happened this week. The team tightened up even more because of all this. The revelations prompted Republican Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska to renew his concerns about the president. I don't have any desire to beat the president up, but it's pretty clear that this White House is a reality show soap opera presidency. What you'd like is the president to not worry so much about the short term of staffing, but the long term of vision casting for America. And CBS News political correspondent Ed O'Keefe is at the White House. Ed, today we also learned that one of the legal cases against the president is proceeding. That's right. In a court filing Friday night, the president and Summer Zervos, who was once a contestant on his reality show The Apprentice, agreed to answer written questions for a New York court. Their answers are due to the New York State Supreme Court by September 28th. Answers are given under oath, so any untruthful answers by the president potentially open him up to perjury charges. Zervos sued Mr. Trump last year after he said that she lied. She has accused him of forcibly groping her and kissing her about a decade ago. The president denies those charges. Elaine? Ed O'Keefe, Ed, thank you.